Sarah Howitt and Noreen Clouton share an unfortunate diagnosis. Both have lymphoma, but the women were fortunate to take part in the trial of a new but expensive cancer drug. It's been wonderful. It saved me. The drug is called Gaziva. It targets a protein which is found on the surface of white blood cells to stop the cancer growing. Hopefully the remission rates will translate even to, into cure rates. But it's too expensive for patients with advanced follicular lymphoma. From October though, the drug which costs about $104,000 a year will be reduced to $39.50 per script or $6.40 for concession holders. Look, I think it's fantastic news. 62-year-old Ian Young, who was being treated for multiple myeloma, was pleased the Federal Health Minister also announced wider access to an oral drug called Pomalist. Blood cancers that can be catastrophic and these medicines are about hope. The federal government is investing $48 million to make these medicines available to hundreds of Australians. Ian's cancer was picked up in February, two days into a three-month overseas trip with his wife. He experienced paralysing pain in the middle of his back. Nobody expects to be in that situation. I didn't, but I am, and I'm thankful that we have people who can see the future. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.